Hello buddy, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you all the Easter egg languages in Minecraft. So if you like Minecraft videos like this one, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more Minecraft videos like this one. But let's just get started. So if we go into the main menu, go over to options and then we go to languages. There are lots of different languages here and some of these aren't real or are fictional or constructed and i'll show you all of these in today's video but before i do let's get something out of the way in minecraft better edition there are not any of these fake or easter egg languages they are not available in better edition sadly here you only have uh, real languages which is very helpful of course as well but not as fun as some nice easter eggs so let's get back to minecraft java editions for these easter egg languages so first of all, we have Pirate Speak, which is a language spoken apparently in the Seven Seas. It was added to Minecraft in 12W01A, so at the start of 2012. And if we apply it, we will see that this will all be related to pirates in one way or another. We have spyglasses, spectacles, the wheel and all of these kinds of things. So the language does change everything in all of the menus and of course it also changes the names of every single item. So it relates in some way to how movies think pirates speak, which I don't think is how pirates really spoke hundreds of years ago, but there we go. Of course we have a chunk of gold. And they do also update these languages, so for example we are currently in one of the 1.17 snapshots. And there's this tinted gloss, which they've called Dark Spy Eye. So they do update all of these different languages, also the Easter egg languages for every single update. And even in between snapshots, which I think is so cool that they do that actually. And wow! anti moss spreads mossy slap oh bad goldo slicen that's a very long name and of course if you want to go through all of these names because they've named pretty much every item not every item sometimes there are a couple of items that are not renamed or they haven't just forgotten like sand has not been renamed but that might be because they want them to not be renamed or they've just forgotten that's also possible so you can of course check all of these out yourself as well just apply the language and play with for a while and you'll definitely see some very funny naming of different items and for pirate speak specifically there's actually an extra easter egg because if we get a crafting table place it down go over to the recipe book and i've currently as you can see switched the name back to english so if we go over to the search bar here and then type in excited ze like this automatically our language will, will be changed over to pirate speak since this excited ze was the username of one of the mojang staff members and apparently they liked the pirate speak language there's also no way here to change to any other languages, only when you type in excited ZE it will change to pirate speak from language you're in currently. And if you want to change back, you'll just have to go back into languages and switch back here. So after pirate speak, there's also lolcat, which is spoken in the kingdom of cats, which is just a language with lots and lots of references to cats, which I think is very funny. And of course, there's all of these different awful spellings i would probably call them they can be very funny but they're also quite cringe that's also why people really enjoy it when they ask me to change language to lolcat for example tough is tf. so yeah most of the blocks are just completely misspelled or very phonetically spelled which could be helpful of course but there's also very very bad jokes like a diamond block is much money and then three dollar signs also a coal block is a koala apparently also I like how every single carpet is just a cat rug. There's also some sort of emoji here with the acacia fence that doesn't show up. That's a bit strange. I'm not quite sure what that was supposed to be, but there's just an LF. I, I think that's just a little bug. Lolcat was added to Minecraft in 1.9. All right, so that was Lolcat. Then we move on to Shakespearean English, which is here and was spoken in the kingdom of England. And now everything is in the style of Shakespeare which I myself am not quite familiar with, but you'll see what it means by just looking at these different menu items. Conclude intermission, very nice. Polished deep deepest slate, there we go, that works. See to the people who thought we didn't have marble in the game, there you go, we have white marble in the game. And apparently the language used here is early modern English, which was used in England around the 17th century, so around when William Shakespeare would have lived. Next up is... English, which apparently is spoken in the Faroan Kingdom, 
and is also called English Puristic. It was added in 1.13, so pretty recently. And this English is supposed to remove every foreign term in the English language, so there will only be pure English words in this language. Where apparently options is Kyers, of course the spruce sapling is a pine sapling, jungle is Orwald, Acacia waddle tree, copper is apparently air, ancient debris is fern dross. Of course I have no idea what all of these references are, but some of you might know, I don't know. There's just so much effort put into all of these languages, I can't really imagine that for every block they add into Minecraft they have to add it for every different language as well, I have to come up with some sort of joke for these joke languages as well, so that's quite tricky I, uh, I imagine. Alright, a jack-o'-lantern is a jack o light fat. And then as a final joke language, there is English, but not just normal English. No, it's upside down English. So this is completely just normal English. The only difference is that every single thing is completely upside down. So yeah, that's that's pretty much the entire joke here. That's for every single block, as you can see. And this is probably the worst language where you, if you want to search something up, because there's just no way of doing that. Because, well, an S is there, an O is there. But if you start to type something, so for example, a sapling, nope. Nothing. Nothing shows up. Stone? No. Nothing. Slab? Nothing. You will never get any items here because all of these characters are upside down and you can't get them very easily on a normal keyboard. You would think if you turn your keyboard upside down you would get these, but sadly not. Upside down English was added in 1.9.2. So apart from these five languages there are also a couple more languages which are real but constructed. So first of all there's this one and Please excuse me, I am not familiar with all of these references or these languages, so I'm definitely gonna pronounce everything wrong here. So this is a Klingon Hole, which is the Klingon language from Star Trek. So this is a constructed language from Star Trek, the Klingon Empire, and it was added in 12W01A. And yeah, as I said, I will not get any of these references because I haven't watched Star Trek, so... But some of you might get these, I guess. So there's Pith... Pithol. Ta. It's just crazy to me that there are just so many different languages that were created for fictional stories. That's so cool. I'll just hover over some of these blocks because... Oh yeah, there we go. Not all of these blocks have been uh, renamed for every single language yet. So, for example, here they haven't done this for the 1.17 blocks yet in this Klingon language. But we might see that in the future. Let's see. Yeah, for 1.16 blocks they have been updated. So they just haven't gotten around to do this. Next up is a language from the Lord of the Rings, one of the Elvish languages actually, and that's Quenya. So this is a once again a constructed language from Lord of the Rings Aman. It was added in Minecraft 1.1 and let's apply it. So I have read the Lord of the Rings books and I do remember there was some sort of Elvish language but I have to say I can't remember anything from it because, well, I, I couldn't read it of course. This is apparently a language that was uh, created for Lord of the Rings. I want to watch the movies as well, but, which I'll probably do pretty soon. And so this language was created by uh, Tolkien and apparently this language was derived from Finnish but also has influences from other languages as well. And of course it's always interesting to see how they translate the different blocks in Minecraft because not all of these blocks are real or, well, not all of them actually exist in the real world, right? Like most of these redstone components don't exist, so it's always interesting to see what they come up with all of these different uh, blocks and items. Then next we have Lojban, Lojban? Just excuse me for any pronunciations during this video, I, I, I should have seen this coming. <laughs> So here it is, La Loiban, which is a language constructed by Logical Language Group. And apparently it has been built over 50 years by dozens of workers and hundreds of supporters. So let's see what this looks like in Minecraft. I like the, the skin customization and accessibility settings. They really stand out here. So this language is added in 1.9. And once again, we can hover over some blocks here to see what they came up with for all of these different blocks. Rocky, that makes sense. Rocker Granu, all right. I can see some logic in some of these, that's nice. Deep Slate, very logical. Then next we have Esperanto, which is apparently a language created by Zamenhof. So this language was devised as an international language and is now spoken by about 2 million people worldwide. I've never heard of it, but here we go, this is Esperanto. So apparently a lot of these words end in OJ. So I also once again have no idea how to pronounce these, but Diorito sounds almost like Dorito, so that's nice. Yeah, lots of O's. Like, almost every word here ends in an even an O or OJ. Of course, not quite sure 
if that's something of significance. So yeah, this is an in international constructed language and it was added in snapshot 12w05a for Minecraft 1.2. And then there are two more languages that are noteworthy. So there's Ido, which is apparently spoken in Idea, but that's a language derived from Esperanto. It was added in 1.11 and, and once again is a constructed language. And there's also this language, which is Metzoslovjansky, which is an inter-Slavic language and it was added in 1.16. It's a constructed language for different Slavic countries to communicate with each other apparently. And previously there was also a language called Talosan in the game for the micronation of Talosa, but because there were too little translations, it was removed in snapshot 21w03a. And so there we go, those are all the Easter egg languages in Minecraft, both joke languages and also constructed languages, either fictional or real as well. And so there we go, if I missed any languages, please let me know in the comments down below. And if you like this video, then please be sure to like and subscribe to the channel for more Minecraft videos like this one. I want to thank my tier 3 member, the Smickler. Thank you so much for becoming a tier 3 member. If you also want to become a member, click the blue join button in the video to check out the different tiers. But there we go, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you in the next one. So until then, bye bye!